All right, I don't know. I don't know what in the world to make of college basketball right now. You have Rutgers beating up on Indiana, like they put on a show on defense. You know, there's North Carolina who lost to Indiana, also lost to Virginia Tech. Just not a cohesive unit right now. It's it's sad. It's really sad. And in Michigan, you know, I'm thinking, okay, maybe Michigan can try and, and, you know, build, you know, some type of resume. But no, no, that didn't happen. They played Virginia and Kentucky pretty close. You know, Sheepway was in foul trouble in the, in the game in London, but um, Michigan didn't build a resume at all. Um this week and then Arizona got worked by Utah but then again Arizona they were four for 28 from three in that game against Utah then if you watch that game on Peacock you know with Gonzaga and Baylor Gonzaga had the lead with like a minute and a half to go and they blew the lead they they blew an eight point lead they blew the lead Baylor was able to get the it would get something, you know, an 8-0 run in and win the game off of some nonsense. And then there's Creighton. Again, they, they lost to Texas. They had a valiant effort against Texas. They had to come back, try and come back, but Texas was able to hold them off in a game in which I was just very impressed by both teams. In all honesty, but then Creighton lost to Nebraska on Sunday, and Northwestern beat Michigan State on Sunday too. So things got weird on Sunday. Things got weird on Sunday. But thank goodness, thank goodness, we're out of that. We're in that weird middle ground of where. We could focus on college basketball a lot more right now as far as the non-conference goes because this week we got some goodies. Oh boy. The Jimmy B Classic, of course. You know, to help out cancer research and stuff like that. Illinois, Texas. Duke, Iowa. Some really great stories and great stars on both sides. Again, you know, Marcus Carr and the Horns. You know, got the pieces around him. You know, there's, there's so many pieces to this Texas team. The big question is, can they contain Terrence um, Shannon Jr.? You know, that's going to be a big question in this game because it kind of happened against Maryland. Maryland was able to contain him for a little bit. Still able to score, but they contained him in, in the ways that, you know, you, you think... They be able to contain him, and then there's also Chris Murray on the other side, going up against Jeremy Roach, and the Blue Devils, who are trying to find their footing. Um, Iowa right now only has the lost TCU, in which you know again, Big Twelve the best conference in basketball. So I mean, you you lose you lose to a team like TCU, you lose you lose to basically, you know. The whole conference right there. Because, I mean, I mean, I'm telling you, Big 12 is that good. Uh, that's not even biased. It's just it's just been fact lately. We finally have a Saturday of intrigue. It's the first, it's the second Saturday in December. But football has taken a backseat, so college basketball can now enter the limelight for a couple of weeks. Before it takes its Christmas break, and we have to wait a little bit because I mean, who's watching Diamond Head Classic? I'm not watching that. Um, but intrigue right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who lost to Villanova in a close game on Saturday, and then Arkansas, led by Ricky Counts of the fourth. Again, it'll be a good one there. Alabama, Houston, on ABC, fun one. Marcus Sass is dealing with an injury. The Cougs 
they looked a little suspect. They've been playing some close games lately with St. Mary's against State, for example. And, you know, there's a difference maker for the Tide in Noah Clowney. You know, just so many difference makers on that team. And these two teams had a thriller last year in which, you know, it came down to the very, very end in which Houston was arguing and jumping and pushing, saying, hey, we, we, we needed that last shot. We didn't get that last shot in. So it's all about vengeance in this one. And in Kansas and unbeaten Missouri will tangle. And there's a physical forward for the Tigers by the name of Kobe Brown. And for Kansas, you know, you know, you still have your Grady Dicks, your Jalen Wilsons, but you also have guys like Kevin McCullough stepping up and coming into their own. And then Arizona again, although although Arizona did get beat by Utah, they were able to counter with another win against Cal, I think. Um, so they hold steady, and it's going to be them and Indiana going up against each other. Omar Ballo, Azuolas Tubelis, and then Trace Jackson Davis, Race Thompson. Race Thompson got held to no points in that game against Rutgers, by the way. And it's going to be an interesting strategy for good old, the good old boys over at Fox, who've been, again, just trying so many different things lately to try and expand their sports portfolio so they're doing a Saturday night basketball type thing which is going to be intriguing to say the least and they get a good one to start their new strategy there's also Tennessee Maryland on Sunday again Jameer Young gonna be a guy to watch out for the Vols have really good defense you know they've been injured but you know a really good defense you know don't let that game and I'll keep coming back to the game against Colorado every time, but I mean, it, it really surprised me because it's Colorado. They're not they're not a good basketball team. Just just you don't you don't see basketball school Colorado come up. You don't see that. As far as everything else goes, I assume we're probably going to get some more crazy upsets. You know, we already seen the buy games go insane. You know, the teams are still losing buy games right now. Conference play for some leagues have started. You know, it's only like a little, it's only a little sprinkle right now of conference play, but more will come in January, in February, in the first week of March. So I cannot wait for all that. And I can't wait to come back to you next week. It'll be sometime next Saturday, not Sunday, or next Monday to talk about more college basketball. I cannot wait. I'll see you all then. Y'all take care. Have a good Monday. Um, have a good Monday night. And I'll see you in about four hours to recap the NFL for week number 13. All right, y'all. See you.